Hello dear friends, Steri Mashay Malgaru, I hope you are doing fine. In today's video, I'll show you or teach you 15 different phrases for past, of Pashto for, uh, for especially for beginners. So let's get started. The first frequently asked question would be, which languages can you speak? So we have two ways of expressing these questions. Number one is Tasu Pakumu Jabu Ragedai Shay or Tasu Pakumu Jabu Habare Kawalai Shay. And both of them are used frequently. And the answer could be the pa dot 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 au dot 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 ragedaisham or habare kawalaisham. For example, the pa pachtu au angrezei habare kawalaisham, which means I can speak Pashto and English. So, pa pachtu means pa Pashto, au means and. And Angrezai means English in Pashto. The next phrase is I speak or understand many languages. The Padero Jabu Pohegam. And be careful to Dero with an D sound and Jabu with J sound. And another question might be how did you learn them tasu tsanga zdakre tasu tsanga zdakre or you can add the dui which means them but you you shouldn't use you you can you can drop it because the ending kre already suggests that is a plural word so, next question is, have you ever been to a place? So, we say, Taso Kalaham, dot, 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 place name, then Ta Tleli Ye. For example, Taso Kalaham, Afghanistan, Ta Tleli Ye. Have you, that would mean, have you ever been to Afghanistan? In this case, the kalaham means ever. And tleliye, been. So have been or have gone in this phrase. And you can say, yeah, many times. Which means, who dir zala, who dir zala. Which means ho oh, yes many times and dear means many and zala means times. And be careful to the d sound in dear and the z sound in zala. Or you can say na no not yet. It mean, which means na tar osana. Na tar osana. Next phrase is or question, where are you going now? And we have uh, the following phrases for a female or male or plural and so on. So if, it, if you ask this question to a male singular person, then you say, Te us chiri ravanye. Te us chiri ravanye. Te us chiri ravanye. And if you ask this question, to a female singular person, then you say, Te us chiri ravanayi. So the ravan gets an a for a female singular. And if it's plural male or plural mixed, then you say, Ta so us chiri ravan yei. So the ta so uh, changes and the yei. Ye changes to yei. And if, it, if, it's, if the plural is consists of only of female persons, then you say, Tasu os chiri ravani yei. So, ravan 
gets an A for female plural and a A remains for same for both plurals. I'm going to the supermarket. The supermarket ta Rawan or if it's a female person say it says it then Ravana Yam. The supermarket Ravan or Ravana Yam. Okay, good luck. Ha Ha Bacht Walarei or Walare. If you talking to a friend or one person you know you're acquainted with, you send you just say Herbacht Walare with an A sound. But if you're talking to an elder person or to many person, then you say Walare with an I. S yeah, and be careful to the second H with an Schwa sound because uh, Bacht is a male noun in Pashto. So again, so H with an Schwa sound is for male singular and male plural. For example, H Sarai. H Sarai means good man. And the plural would be H Sari, which means good men. So in plural male and singular, it remains same. And for female singular, it's ha with an a sound, like ha hadza, which means good woman. And for female plural, it's with a sound, like he, which means he hadze, which means good women. And the phrase for bye, to say goodbye, we have two ways in Pashto. One is Khudai Paman. Khudai Paman. Which literally means be uh, at be under the protection of God. May you be under the protection of God. And Pamacha de Ha. Pamacha de Ha. And the key H in Macha is a H sound. And the key H in H is a soft H sound. So, P, Macha, D, H. So, H and H. And if you want to say have a nice day to one friend or so, then you say H, Urad, Walare. If you want to say to many persons or to, uh, for respect, then you say H, Urad, Walare with an I sound. And Wurad means day in Pashto and it's a female singular noun. That's why we, we need Ha with an A sound. Or you can say I wish you a good day which then you, we have two uh, ways. You can say in, in which is more formal Tasuta Yawa Ha Urad Gwaram Tasuta Yawa Ha Urad Gwaram and Gwaram means want or wish. And be careful to the Gwaram. It's a R and a R sounds. Gwaram. And the second uh, version is more colloquial. Or not colloquial, but more is a little bit informal. You can say to a friend of you, yours. Then you say, gwaram, which is even shorter. Ha urads darta guaram. In darta means to you. Guaram mean remains the same. And if you want to say I wish you a good time, then you then you have again two ways: one more formal and one less formal. The formal one is tasuta ha wacht guaram. Tasuta ha wacht guaram, and and. The H is with an schwa sound because Wacht is a means time in Pashto and it's a singular male now. Or you can say H H Wacht Darta Guaram with Darta again. So these were some of the phrases in Pashto. Uh, I hope you learned something new from it. And till next time, I wish you a good day and goodbye.